just going to go straight in. Can I do that? Yeah. You, you went sub-11 last season for the first time. That must have been, that must have been the highlight of 2018. Yeah. Or was it? It was one of yeah, the biggest highlights. It was my goal to yeah, run under 11 seconds, but everything has to work out, conditions need to be good. So, yeah, it was like still a big surprise to do it. Yeah. We spoke on a few occasions um, across the season. I could see you were determined. You had that look in your eye. Um, I want to know how you're feeling now that you can reflect on the season now on all those fourth place finishes. Yeah, it's really hard. It's my best season mm. when you look at the results, yeah. but still one of the seasons I'm most disappointing because of these four places in, uh, in uh, Berlin. But it's a, a little bit mixed. I learned a lot of stuff. I had really good competitions around sub-11. I had like a lot of positive things. And the negative things is, yeah, it's, it's still okay. I try to learn and to do it better next year. I'd imagine you're here in the UK because you want to find, you know, that something extra that's going to get you onto the podium. Firstly, how you find in London? I really like it. It's really cool. I like the group. I like the coach. I like the training area. Mm. It's it's a really nice. I like the city, so mm. I'm really happy here. What part are you staying in? East, north, west? Um, like the first time I stayed with a friend who yeah. lives uh, close to the Arsenal Stadium. Um, Arsenal. Yeah, Arsenal. Did you, you had to get out of there very quickly then, I think. <laughs> it's a bad place to live. <laughs> it's okay, because the second time I stayed in Tottenham. Yes. That's so. the best stadium. <laughs> the best place to live. I didn't, I didn't see the stadium. <laughs> it was just an apartment, no. Yeah. But Tottenham is a bit closer, so I stayed there in the Airbnb. Mm. And this time I stayed again with my friend, because she has a room which is empty. So I stayed there. Oh, you were lucky. You are a lucky girl. Yeah. yeah. Empty room. So how's training been going since you've... You've been here in the UK. Really good. I had to learn a lot of new stuff, so yeah. that's really hard in the beginning. Yeah. Fudge is like that. It will do that to you. Yeah. yeah. Talk about some but of the stuff that you've had to learn. Uh, just the technique. Mm. I changed a lot of things with the technique and also like trainings are a lot longer because we do a lot of stuff, always waits in the end. So that's also something I had to get used to it. So in the beginning, it's really, it's really hard because I'm really tired because the whole body, the whole system has to get used to it. Mm. But now I start to get into it, and I really like it, and it's it's really cool. You're 26 now, right? 26, yeah. You're making some real big decisions to change your career and join this group of elite athletes. Because I know that you changed coach, was it last year or the year before as well? Last year, yeah. You had your best season, and then you changed again. You're, you're really trying to find those fine margins that make the difference, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not happy so quick. Mm. <laughs> like, I want to do it perfectly. I want to do it really good. Even if I had, like, even this sub-11, it was really good. But mm. I still saw the little pieces I could do better. So I just want to try to end my career where I can say I tried everything. I did my best. And mm. I could have done it better. And I just don't want to miss the opportunity to do something better. Yeah, no, I understand that. European Indoor Championships are... Uh, the next goal for a lot of, of athletes. You ran 7-0-3 last season. Um, remarkable. You know, put you up there with some of the best indoor sprinters in the world. Yeah. Um, can you go much quicker? And if you ran 7 3 in Glasgow, you should win, right? <laughs> should, yeah, but <laughs> you never know. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> you never know. Of course, of course. But, but can, uh, can you go much quicker? The chance is big. Mm. Um, I think I can run quicker. It will be hard because the race was good, but yeah. I learned so many things now with Steve where I can see where I can get my race better. Mm -hmm. So I think I can run faster. I don't know if I can do it this year. It will take some time to like adapt to all the new te technical stuff, but I think I can. I hope to do it this year, but even if it's next year, it's okay. <laughs> it's a funny season. Um, because you've got the world indoor, I mean, European indoors, a big gap, and then the world championships. So talk about how you're going to navigate the season. Have you got a wall chart with all your dates on, Diamond League? So do you know how you're going to do this yet? No, honestly right. not. <laughs> I'm not doing the indoor season. Right. Uh, and then I think a little break. 
and that's what I have C for. I'm happy to have. So he he can he can plan that bit. Yeah, he, he, can, he can plan it, look at it with me, and then so he agreed. But yeah, I think that will be Steve's job. He's I think he's better at that than me. That's fair <laughs> enough. He, he's good at it. To yeah. be honest with you, he's got uh, he's got some athletes working well. So I, I guess I, I want to tap into the confidence levels after running seven zero three last year. Um, because if you can do that at the front end of the season and then you went on to run the sub-10 in July, it was all going so well. So really, I guess you, you want similar success at similar points next year, right? Yes, definitely, yeah. Mm. But I just hope like that that the, like, the best race will be uh, at the most important competition mm. because what was a little bit disappointing for me this year that I didn't really have that peak at the European Championship. Right. I felt like it was the whole season a little bit at the same level or mm. I got up a little bit. Mm. So I just want to peak at the most important competition next year. That's like the main goal. How do you get motivated? What motivates you? Do you listen to that like hardcore rap? I mean, what, what's, <laughs> what do you do to get in the zone? Um, I think just to know that I have more potential that I can run faster, it's like a big motivation. Mm. Um, and also I just like the championships, it's fun because the last few years I was always a bit behind, now I'm like with the best and it's a lot more fun, fun this way. So yeah, I just, I just really like it and I think, especially this year, it's really that I'm so sure that I can run faster than what I did this year, mm. so that motivates me a lot. I guess being so close, one thing about finishing fourth is that you're as close as you're going to be to the best in the world. That feeling that you you know you can join them. Did that start in Amsterdam 2016 when you, or did it start before then? Because I know that obviously that podium finish in the in the European Championships was a great marker for you. Yeah, that was maybe like being with the best in Europe. Yeah, but not really in the world because right. a few uh, one month later it was the uh, the Olympics in Rio, mm. and there I had like no chance. Mm. <laughs> so I think. The first time I really started to feel like I can like keep up with the best in the world was indoors mm. in Birmingham. Right. So that was a huge motivation also for me. Because right. Well, the world indoors, yeah? The world indoors. Oh, okay, cool. I mean, that, that was some great races uh, at the world indoors. A lot of people I expected to perform better than they did, didn't. So it is all about on the day. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, it's a long season, like I said. So when you look at the fact that you're not going to get much off season, are you? Are you? Do you okay. dread that moment? Like last, well, what the, the period when the last race of the outdoors is finished, like twenty nineteen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not much because twenty twenty is so important. Do you do you think that far, or do you think do you not allow yourself to? Um, I think that it's sometimes just that mm. it will be difficult. It will yeah, be hard. it's going to be because tricky. I think also, also the Olympics are a little bit early. That's what I mean. They're early. early so Europeans are kind yeah. of after we'll that. Be, yeah, it will be weird. But I don't try to think too much that far. It's first, it's the Europeans mm. indoors, mm. and then Doha, and, mm. then and then we'll see what happens after that. It will that. Steve. It will be Steve's job. <laughs> what did you do, What did you do this year for um, in a down off season? What did you do? I did you fly all your stuff to England to prepare to train here, or no. did you go on holiday? <laughs> what was What was your plan? Uh, in the beginning, I had to like look for Steve. I was like right. organizing this, mm -hmm. and then I went to uh, Vietnam. Mm. Oh, I was there. Unusual. It was it was cool. I w I'm an ambassador of the Swiss Red Cross for a few years now. Okay. And I went to visit the project they did there for Fantastic. a few days. Mm -hmm. It was really nice. And then I stayed there with a friend two weeks just to travel and see the country and nice. like have a, yeah <laughs> two weeks. Nothing off. to do with athletics. Nothing to do with track. Yeah. It did you just eat? <laughs> you must have ate some fantastic food. And yeah, that's so. Have good you been either. before? Or? No, never. Yes. Never been to Southeast Asia, so it was really exciting. It was so cool. Yeah. Like, Where else did you go? Just to Vietnam. Okay. And then back home, had yeah. to prepare stuff, and then here. So how long do you get off? What a month? One month. Three weeks? It was like seven weeks. <laughs> seven weeks? I needed... <laughs> all athletes, they all feel guilty, don't they? You, all athletes yeah. feel guilty for having seven weeks off. It's yeah. really bad. That's good. You deserve it. You work hard. Yeah. I, I, it's the first time I took so so many weeks, I think. Good. Before, it was it was always less, but I needed time after this. <laughs> this That's year, I needed enough. a little bit more time. I yeah. thought that I was... It was really a hard season with all that changing, and I was running fast. I was training a lot. I was like... I didn't really have... A lot of like a consistent coach, mm. so that was yeah. I got really tired, so I needed 
a few weeks. <laughs> Rest. Yes. No problem, man. Listen, well, good luck for the upcoming season. Thank you. Uh,